and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with a stock swoosh. Look at the market. Wow, what a move. Here we are up a little bit, booped over 186, back through and around. I'd be surprised to think that we wouldn't gap up tonight into tomorrow morning. I mean, we're going to be up. The queues look great. The spy is lagging, which basically is because of Goldman, which I really did not like at all. Did not like it all today whatsoever. It really was a piece of crap. Let's just see what JPM held up. Barely, barely by the hair of its skinny chin chin, but it did. City held up. Wells Fargo retraced itself. Wow, GS looks the worst of all. Anyways, long story short, the market looks great. The market looks higher. The cues, and let's just be completely specific and very exact. 187.52. Wow, we will be over 186 tonight, I think, into the close or somewhat. We will be $1.50 or thereabouts away from making brand new all-time highs in the queues. And how about that, people? Can you even believe it? If you look at the way that the market is traded, and again, this is rallying today. After we fell off, I don't know why we fell off. It doesn't matter. We picked ourselves up. I like the market higher today. It didn't happen right away. Sometimes that's the case. When you look at the market and you look at the strength in the market, the market's getting bought. And I just said this earlier earlier today in TD Ameritrade's channel. I said, you know what? You've got a lot of people that are not long this market. People that got out, and I'm just going to, this is institutional buying though, by the way. I mean, this is one of the things that I teach people how to do. I called that fact that we'd rally into the New Year's Eve in the last, the last part of the year. I was right. But I never, never thought we'd go straight up. And that is exactly what we, what we did. I'm not surprised. I'm not surprised. Why? Because that's what institutional money is. Institutional money controls the market and stocks at all times. Even if you think it's not there, it actually is. Even if you think it's not. And I know what it is. And that's the genius of what I know and why I said the market never broke the uptrend and why I said we'd rally into the end of the year last year because I read gaps. Gaps is what you'd come and learn from me. And a gap tells you whether it's good or it's not good, if you can tell if the gap is getting bought or the gap is getting sold off. So every gap that occurs in anything is not always playable or what I call predictable. Some gaps are, and those are the ones that I know how to read, and those are the ones that told me that the market was higher. And so here we are, we're here today. Now, we're so close to this that if we don't get over it right away so quickly, Guess what? We could be floundering around in an area for quite some time. Show it's better, better for the market. The faster we get over it now, how we act when we get over it, I don't know until I see it. But I definitely think that it's better if we do it quickly with no particular data out this week that would really move this market unless there's some news on the China front. We got Netflix out tomorrow night, which could do anything at all. Could go up, could go down, I don't know. That could move the market, that's true. Something here could happen this week just based on some earnings, but not really any econ. So you say, gosh, short week here in the market, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday. But you know, we're buck 50 off the highs here into the close tonight. And we're probably gonna be up tomorrow morning. In fact, I, I just think we're, I think we're gonna do this soon, but I mean, we might not, but either way, I'm saying we do it in the first half of the year, which is like, you know, could be another two months or so. Anyways, a great move of the market. If you'd like to come and learn what I know, I teach a class. The next class is April 27th to 28th. Had a lot of the interest in the class this month. It is earnings season. Now's the time to trade and make the donuts, so to speak, or the money. So you must go and you must learn my method. If you want to get in the trading room and trade live, I do the calls. The options letter is completely separate. That's something separate. If you want to sign up for the options letter, you'll be doing options trades. That doesn't give you entrance into the trading room. There's no prerequisites, though, for the options letter. The options letter is $49.99. I'm doing a sale on that, but only through Wednesday, or no, Thursday of this week, the 18th. I don't even know what day it is. It's tax day. <laughs> Happy tax day to everyone. Hopefully you got your return done and got it in. Don't forget to file. Anyways, have a great day, everyone. Email me and Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Go market. Do, do, do. Market is winning. Have a great night, everyone.